Hey, what's up guys? It's Donkey Shot for FXRay.com. Today with a quick tip on how to adjust color and the look of lips. And with our techniques, you will be able to change the color of lips in seconds, add different kind of glasses, add shimmer, increase contrast, and you're gonna learn how to create the so-called ombre lips in Photoshop. So if you don't have the budget for a makeup artist or there's no time to spend on artistic lips, we got a solution for you. Okay, let's open the image of our beautiful Helen in Photoshop. And the first thing you want to do when you work with lips in Photoshop, you want to create a very accurate selection. So I pick my pen tool and I start outlining the lips. The reason why I'm using a pen tool is that I can adjust the path later. So if I apply a color and I realize that it doesn't look good, I can always go back to my path and change the shape. Okay, we're almost there. Just doing a little fixing here. And what I want to do next, I want to select my work path we just created and create a solid color. The color actually doesn't really matter. And I click on a background layer to get rid of the path and to see if I did a great job and I didn't, so I have to fix this one. And that looks a lot better. Only thing to do now is to feather the shape. So go to properties and feather it with about two or three pixels. Well, that was the hard technical part. Now double click on the shape and let's get creative. First, set the fill opacity to zero. Then activate cover overlay and set the blend mode to soft light. Pick a color and watch her lips, how they are changing. I gonna do this one and select the background layer to get rid of the path then go back to the layer styles and choose another color just to see how fast and easy we can change the actual color of the lips by only adjusting color and opacity let's continue with another trick go back to layer style and activate inner shadow set the blend mode to overlay and use an angle of 90 degrees now you can play with the four parameters of opacity, distance, choke and size to create kind of an outline or shadow and increase the contrast of the whole lip. So now you know how to colorize and outline the lip, but what if you want to add a little bit more contrast? Click on a color fill layer while holding command key on a Mac to select the lips and add a levels adjustment layer on top. With the levels, you can adjust the contrast of the lips pretty easily. So now you can not only change the color and add an outline, you can also increase the contrast. Still not enough? Go to our website, fxray.com, click on Downloads and select our lip gloss brush. And what our lip gloss brush... Oh, that's difficult. What our lip gloss brush does... Got it. We have seven different lip glosses you can apply on your lips and one shimmer. Really amazing, isn't it? And all you need is our FX Ray lip gloss, which can be downloaded here for free. So back in Photoshop, I first want to clean up my layers and put them into a basic group and create another group and name it gloss. Inside this group, I'm gonna put a new empty layer and I'm gonna select my brush tool. Right click to open the brush dialog and load the brushes from our website and select the first gloss. First you have to adjust the size of the brush, since each lips are different. Here we go. And since lips are so different, we need to adjust the shape of our gloss. So we're gonna select the upper reflection, press Command T on a Mac and go into Warp Transformation. It's not a big deal to transform the reflection, so pretty easy actually with the Warp Transformation. But make sure to do it pretty good. Okay, the upper reflection looks good, so now I select the other reflection and just reposition it. Although it looks good, it still doesn't look realistic. That's because we used white as a highlight. And if you look on colorized or color corrected images, pure white is not always the highlight. So double click on a layer and activate cover overlay. Select the spot in the image where you can clearly see a highlight and pick the color. See how much better it actually looks? But there is one more thing you need to know when you add a lip gloss. An actual lip gloss would take out all the details of the lips. So that's what we're gonna do now. Make a selection of the lips and click on a background layer. Press Command J on a Mac to duplicate the selected layer. 
and put it into our basic group. Go to filter, noise, reduce noise and set the strength to 10 and the other values to 0. Definitely a lot better. Here without the reduction and here with. A lot better. Ok guys, let's go one step further. Create a new empty layer above our gloss layer and select the shimmer brush. Make sure your foreground color is white and then click one time on the lips. Copy a layer mask to our shimmer and set the opacity to about 50%. And now it's your turn to combine all of the layers and adjust the colors. There are billions of possibilities how you can combine the layers and change their colors. You can hide the gloss, you can hide the contrast, you can hide the color, you can just simply apply the gloss, you can add shimmer or not, you can do so many things. This is so incredibly awesome. I can spend hours, no, days, weeks, uh, years playing with incredibly beautiful lips. But as if it wouldn't be enough, I have one more thing for you guys. Deactivate all of our visible layers and create a new empty layer below the levels adjustment layer, which I name Ombre and I copy the layer mask. Let's zoom in a little bit and select a soft brush. Bring in our color palette, which can be found under window swatches. And what I do now, I pick different colors to create a gradient on the lower lip something from blue over red or orange to yellow i mean you can do whatever you want and a gradient from red to purple on the upper lip let's do some fixing on here and set the blend mode to soft light uh, pretty cool so far let's add a little bit more shimmer and gloss and contrast and set the ombre layer to about 50 percent or 60 and i want to add a different gloss so i'm going to hide this one and create a new empty layer select my white brush with the second gloss and adjust the size okay and same here i need to adjust the shape of the gloss so select warp transformation Pretty quick, but still accurate, of course. And I think we're done. Okay, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed our tutorial. More on fxray.com. My name is Dom Quixote. Take care.